Welcome to another math problem of the week. Triangle, turn upside down. Let's talk about it. For today's problem, we have a total of 15 coins arranged as a triangle shape, as shown here. What is the minimum number of coins needed to be moved so that the triangle turns upside down? The options are A, 4, B, 5, C6 and D7. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Before we solve this problem, Let's look at a simple case. Now, let's say we have only one, one coin. Then in that case, we don't have to move anything. Let n be the number of rows that the triangle has. And let fn be the number of coins needed to be moved so that the triangle turns upside down. n equals to 1, fn equals to 0. When n equals to 2, meaning that we have two rows. Then in this case, obviously, we just need to move one coin, and that is 1. And when n equals to 3, we may need to move 1, 2, uh, 3. But we can save a little bit by moving these two coins. And we will have the triangle upside down. See? From here to here. So the answer is 2. And when n is equal to 4, If this row is fixed, then we have to move everything from here. We need to move six of them. But we can save a little bit by only move three coins. That is moving these three. Okay? And that is what we get. Move these two to the upper row. And the last one to here. So we have three. For this question, it is 5 row. And as you can see the pattern, 0, 1, 2, 3, do you think the answer will be 4 or something else? As we mentioned, if we do not move anything here, the last row, then we have to move all the upper rows down. And in that case, we need to move 10 coins. That is not so. So we may need to do some other strategy. Let's move these two and these three. So in this case, these two will move up to here. And the other three move down. And we have the answer is five. No. And we use five coins here. The five may not be the minimum. So as illustrate, phi is possible, but we need to ask, is phi the minimum? Uh, for this simple case, we can show it case by case. So originally, we have this triangle, and we want to make it upside down, like this. We will move one by one. Let's say if this side of triangle is fixed, then it is similar to say that this row is fixed. And in that case, we need to move 10 coins. Okay. So we can move this going to a little bit. And in that case, we need to move 7 of coins that is not overlapping. Okay. And I think we can do a little bit better here. And we need to move 6 coins. Okay, 
And in this case, we can move down a little bit. And we need only five. Oh, we can have some other method uh, to make the triangle upside down by moving different coins, right? So, and you can check one by one, five coins is the minimum, right? By checking the, all the case one by one for this simple one, then we confirm that indeed five is the answer. I'll make some extension to this problem. And for now, let's look at other people's solution. generalization for this question will be what happened if it goes to n so we can move on what happened to 6 what happened to 7 and what happened to n in general are we able to find out a general formula for n rows using the idea of how many points are not overlapping gives some extension for this problem that is if let's say you have two congruent equilateral triangles one of this orientation and the other of the upside down orientation relatively to this one when they are overlapping what will be the maximum percentage of the overlapping area If this is known, then it perhaps it will give us some idea what happened to the FN. It will be great if you leave your comment below. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.